Alright, we're post-fight. No idea what just happened. Apparently, he knocked him out with an elbow. But, um, I'm still impressed with what I saw. The rest of that fight, I feel like he was working on that karate style and putting a lot of it together. I have to make an actual sit-down breakdown video on what the fuck happened. Because, you know how it is, it's different when you're actually there and not watching it on TV. I didn't even know he knocked him out with an elbow. I just found out. My personal opinion, he was finna do that anyway. Like, he would have knocked him out anyway at some point. Same result, and I'm still just as impressed. Um, it, it, I, I really kind of feel bad for the guy because I feel like he can't do anything and get credit because everybody is going to say it was an elbow. Oh, that was temper. Oh, that was swarms of potato, which are all valid points. Um, but I think that we can start to put together the pieces of the puzzle and realize the dude can fucking fuck us up. Stop, bro. I told you, not until you're 18. That was B-Day, ladies and gentlemen. No, listen. No, for real. Um, this Tommy Fury fight, I don't know my thoughts on it yet. I think that that might be a little bit too big of a step for JJ, if I'm being completely honest with you. Um, but, hey, you got to respect him for taking another challenge. Because I do believe Joe Fournier was his uh, toughest challenge as a boxy, from a boxer standpoint. Um, hopefully, we get to see more against Tommy Fury. It's all fucked. I don't know what's going on. Press the beast to a dinosaur, nigga. Pterodactyl mixed with a T-Rex. T-Rectodactyl. <laughs>